and I hold right mouse button the character will use our aim offset up to 90 degrees all the way up down left and right but if he hits the 90 degrees uh, threshold he'll start turning in place Okay, uh, let's get back to our uh, Kubalt uh, Movement Anim Set Pro and our example that we already have. Uh, so we are already strafe walking and we are directionally walking based on those mock-up animations that will look really fluent and really good. Uh, so we want to use this aim offset that is already provided with the assets uh, already set up. This is an additive aim offset in two directions. So we can go back to our anim graph for our character and what we want to do we just want to drag the same offset here drop it here and here it is connect it connect it here and what we need now is to go into aim offset and say final aim, aim offset get we want to split because this is a vector 2d and we have the x uh, which is horizontal and y which is vertical so if we compile save and play now you can see that the aim offset is already being applied however it is oh it is actually quite fluent and the way how we control how fluent this aim offset is is through setup variables that are here but they are also uh, available here in the details panel of the entire blueprint. Let's change aim smoothness to zero, save it, compile and hit play. So now if we are switching from one side to other it will be almost instant. So aim offset is not very fluent. You can see that this movement looks a bit scary even at some times so let's change it back to something like 10 compile save hit play it's quite fast still so let's go back to 6 which was our default so compile save play and we got 6 okay so now we can uh, run in any direction and we are still using our aim offset and we can also strafe walk with aim offset so the aim offset is faster than the rotation of the character it's based on the camera still right now but we can turn off a uh, camera based inside the character we just go into the component find this camera based and turn it off compile save hit play and now we are taking an aim offset of the controller itself directly without doing any traces from the camera uh, and you can see that he's uh, looking over his uh, left shoulder for a very long time until he switches to the right shoulder it's because our aim offset uh, behavior is set to left if we pick the default one which is nearest and we hit play now once he meets the 180 threshold he will switch the shoulder but uh, if we are running towards the camera it is easy to get this state where he is jangling his head from right to left and this is why there are those two special clamps that are increasing by the by this aim clamp and this value uh, what shoulder the character should prefer until he meets this criteria to switch shoulder to the other one so i have to go over 135 degrees to actually go on the second shoulder uh, so I will prefer left shoulder and I pick left because my camera is uh, to the right of the character so when I'm running towards the camera he should be preferring the left shoulder okay one more upgrade that we can do to our aim offset is that when we are strafe walking we want to enjoy our aim offset while strafe walking so instead of using desired rotation let's start using desired rotation angle which takes the in turn start and end angle uh, into our rotation so now if we hit play and I hold right mouse button the character will use our aim offset up to 90 degrees all the way up down left and right but if he hits the 90 degrees uh, threshold he'll start turning in place 
until he hits the second threshold, which is five degrees uh, tolerance of the turn. However, if we are moving, he will always try to rotate towards our um, desired uh, control rotation. So yeah, this is how you work with uh, aim offset from the uh, Cobalt Locomotion Aim Set Pro. Thanks for listening and see you in the next episode.